Alright, so, uh, I went to the end with my brother, and he died, like the stupid person he is, and, um, yeah, uh, I forgot to hit the record button for my microphone, so there's no audio for that entire part, so, uh, you, you really can't, um, watch it like how I wanted you to. So a lot of the end cities near spawn were already raided by everyone else on the server because we were a little late, but, uh, me and my brother ended up traveling quite far. He ended up dying to an enderman because he's, uh, kind of stupid. I actually don't know how it happened, but luckily I survived long enough to actually get three electros plus a bunch of shulkers and other loot. So that was pretty good. Oh no. I've been muted this entire time. There is no freaking way, right? My OB <laughs> my OBS has not there been recording my voice this entire time. It's been recording everyone's voices but mine. You gotta re-record all that. I'm again. not re-recording shit. <laughs> I'll make it work. Well, no episode four guy. No, Thanks. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Oh yes, I should tell you guys about this, but we do have new data packs. Well, I've been trying to get the data packs to work. It turns out that when I was creating the server, I renamed the world a couple of times. Instead of just renaming like the existing world, it created new ones. So there's like four different worlds in there. Um, and I was putting the data packs in the wrong data pack folder, but now they're working. So we have different like quality of life things. Like if one person sleeps, nobody else has to sleep to make it daytime. And things like if I craft trap doors, I actually get more trap doors now instead of two, which is a ripoff. So just things like that. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to install that into your own Minecraft server. Just make sure you put it in the right data pack folder. <laughs> so I did a lot of stuff. Uh, I got uh, an Unbreaking 3 Villager, finally. That's probably the most important Villager other than Mending, and it's very hard to get, but I uh, I got him. I made him a little cheaper, but I gotta do it again because his prices are still kinda high. And I also went Netherite Mining. I got uh, this Ancient Debris, plus a couple more that are in my Ender Chests. Um, not, not too much, um, but it's enough to where I can turn something into Netherite, so I'm trying to figure out what i should do maybe my sword i don't know but either way we got some more stuff to do i want to make a gold farm and xp farm so like it, the same farm but like it gives you gold and xp because that would really really benefit me and then i also want to get my unbreaking three villager down a little cheaper so those are two things that i gotta do and i think i'm gonna do the villager first because um getting on breaking three on my electro will allow me to use it and it will allow me to also you know um build the gold farm easier since it's going to be way up in the sky in the nether so let me um put some stuff away and then i will get to doing that okay there are already zombies over here so that's good just need to build a little Thing so that the zombies will actually go where I need them to. Oh god, I'm not wearing armor. I forgot. <laughs> Let's just put that on for now. Okay, and then break this. And then our villager dies. Okay, and that is the sound of him being healed. Let's see what he's got. Yes, one emerald trade for these books. Okay, so let's make some books real quick. So I want to trade Unbreaking for pretty much all these, and I'm holding my Electra in my hand so that hopefully the mending will cause it to heal a little bit. There we go. What else do you trade? You trade paper, so we'll do this. Just get the pink particles. What else do you have? Okay, you have the book and for an emerald and the emerald for a lantern trade. Um, we can definitely trade a couple more of these. And then you have the ink sack trade. And that gives you the pink particles as well. So what else do you have? Okay, ooh, you can get a name tag or a clock. 
Okay, that's not too amazing. As soon as I make this gold farm, we'll have levels to be able to do a lot. So I guess we should probably start collecting the resources to do that, shouldn't we? Hello peeps, so I uh, got all the things I need for the gold farm, which I uh, am going to build in just a second. So here are my shulker boxes. We've got a bunch of random junk that we need to build this thing. And so this is gonna take a little bit, but this is gonna be worth it because not only are we gonna have gold, but we're going to have a very, very good source of XP. And XP is super important because it allows me to repair my tools and will also allow me to make better armor because right now I just can't get enough XP to, you know, make really, really good armor yet. So I guess uh, all I really need to do now is go and build it. And there we go, my gold farm is finished. As you can see, it's working and producing a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, I already have a bunch of levels and my armor and tools are fully repaired after that. I did go and upgrade my armor and tools just a little bit, 
Um, still nothing too fancy. Definitely got to do some work on there. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a huge benefit. So uh, that's about it for this video. But before you go, I just wanted to let you all know that we do have an official Discord server now. So if you want to join, there will be a link in the description. You can chat with us, uh, hang out, uh, you know, see different updates about different things, and maybe even get to join the SMP if we like you a lot. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, bye.